So the game I'm playing today is called Learn to Fly Idle. I played Learn to Fly 3 a few weeks ago, and I guess I could say I enjoyed it, even though it was a very simple Flash game, and I still don't fully understand why the series is as popular as it is. But I, I liked it for what it was, just a simple Flash game where you're a penguin building your own rocket ship. Now something I forgot to mention at the beginning of that video, when I was, uh, you know, giving you guys a history lesson on, uh, this game series, is that there's actually a fourth Learn to Fly game that was released in between Learn to Fly 2 and 3, and it is more of a spin-off to the series, and that is, of course, Learn to Fly Idle. Now, as the game's title would insinuate, this is another one of those idling games, or clicker games. As weird as it may sound, I do actually want to try and play more of these. The only ones I have played so far are Clicker Heroes, Adventure Capitalist, and Space Plan. That's pretty much it. I was thinking about doing another random games video where I'm just showing off, like, some free clicker games that I found on Steam, because there were a few that I have already found, so there might be a video of that eventually. Learn to Fly Idle is not too much older than Learn to Fly 3. This came out in 2014. It was around the time when idle games were starting to become very popular. They were still a relatively new video game genre, but their popularity was starting to rise extremely quickly, because this was only released a few months after Cookie Clicker. The premise of this game is a little bit counterintuitive to the series, though, considering Learn to Fly is all about, well, making a penguin learn how to fly, but that's not really what you're doing in this game. This game has you mostly destroying enemies and objects with a cannon in order to get more money so that you can upgrade your cannon and make it more powerful so you can kill more enemies and objects. So basically, it's just like every other clicker game in existence. Now, before I get to playing this, there are a few things that I do need to explain to you guys, and it will take a little while to explain it, so... If you don't want to hear me explain it, even though I highly recommend you do, considering what I'm about to discuss, uh, you can skip to this point in the video if you just want to get straight to the gameplay, you don't want to hear all of this. Now, this might be the second to last video you guys will see from me for a little while. I say second to last because I do have one more video going up tomorrow, a very short video of Stepmania that I actually recorded like a couple weeks ago, but didn't bother uploading until now. Now, the reason I say this will probably be one of the last videos you guys will see from me for at least a few days is because I am currently in the process of moving. Yes, I'm actually moving into a new home. Now, I'm still recording this video in my old house, but I have to move out of here by tomorrow, actually. And while I'm trying to get settled into my new home, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to upload videos during that time. I still haven't figured out where my recording setup is going to be. But once I fully get settled in, I'll get back to recording videos. I also mentioned that I have been having issues just trying to get videos recorded because... I don't know what's been going on, but my laptop has been doing so many weird things recently, and some of the footage I've been trying to record has been getting corrupted, and it's starting to get on my nerves a little bit, and I really do feel like I just need another break from recording videos because I am almost at my breaking point with this. So yeah, if you guys don't see any videos from me for the next few days after the video that's going up tomorrow, then you'll know why. It's because I am moving out, getting into a new home, and also, I just need a break from recording videos because I'm just getting extremely fed up with my footage constantly getting corrupted and losing recordings. I just need a break from it all for a little while. I won't be gone for too long, though. Like I said, it'll just be for a few days. I'll return sometime in September. In the meantime, we're going to play this silly little game right here and, uh... Well, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Let's just get started. Right, well, here we are. Now, I haven't really played this game off-screen at all, so, uh, yeah, it does look like it functions mostly like a clicker game. I'm getting research points for something, okay? Spend research points on special perks and upgrades. Like, like what? Oh, God, what is this? Okay. Damage multiplier level 0, 100 RP to next level, uh, bullet travel speed, space folding, upgrade cost reduction, faster research points. I cannot click on any of these things. Okay, so what what what, what am I doing here? I, I don't understand what I'm what I'm doing. I have a snowman. Okay, I'm trying to fire a cannon at the snowman, so I assume I have to I have to kill him. Uh, fire without clicking. Okay, well can I fire right now? Okay, yeah I can. 
Okay, well, I guess this is not completely like a clicker game, because I am actually doing stuff here. Okay, yeah, because I can, I can like, change the angle of this. Alright, yeah. Uh, I am getting money for this, though. Okay, I can increase my, my base damage here. Yeah, there we go, so I can, I can get some more, more damage in there. I guess I'm only, I'm only, like, damaging Snowman here. Oh, Snow Banks, okay. Uh, this is much larger, though. I have to really, like, angle this perfectly. Even so, it's not covering enough, enough distance here, so... Uh, max shots, too? Oh, okay. Yeah, here we go. So now I can, I can, uh, fire more, more, uh, snowballs here. Yeah, here we go. Very nice indeed. Okay. Well, this doesn't seem all that complicated at all. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try this out here for, for a little while. Um, max shots, uh, okay, let's try and increase our base damage here so we can basically, okay, yeah, we have 50 research points. Uh, damage multiplier? Okay, yeah. So, we are accumulating research points over time, but does this move any faster? Like, when I- when I kill more- more snowmen here? No, it- it doesn't- it doesn't appear to. Trigger happy one? Okay, yeah, 50 more research points. Uh, oh wait, we have 100 now. Uh, bullet travel speed? Sure, plus 30 projectile travel speed. We'll- we'll take that then, I guess. That's- that's all at level 1. Okay. Can I get, like, better cannons here, I wonder? I have no idea. Um, let's see if we can try hit- hit this snowbank now. No, it doesn't seem like we have enough to get the snowbank. Just falling short. Okay, what- what is the extra stats? Research points per second. Okay. Yeah, so that's- Oh yeah, that's also my- my total playtime as well. Um, it doesn't say I have- I have any total kills right now. Yeah, this is a distance of 3,000. This worth is only one. Okay, let's- let's increase the launching power here. Maybe we need to launch this a little bit for- Okay, that's- that's flying a whole bunch of places. Yeah, we're at Destroyer 2 now. Uh, space folding? Sure. Well, we'll try that. Two and a half percent closer objects. Okay, now do I have enough to get the snowbank? Yeah, here we go. Conqueror 1. Oh yeah, there we go. We're getting a lot of money from- from destroying the snowbank. Uh, we do have a different enemy now. Ice Boulder? Oh, uh, we can do some damage to this, actually. Yeah, that's working. Okay, so it seems like when I destroy different objects here, it unlocks the, uh, the next object for us to kill. El Sombrero. Okay. It's a snowman wearing a sombrero, because that- that totally makes sense. Two- two contrasting, uh, ideas. Uh, <laughs> what am I even talking about? Upgrade cost reduction. That would probably benefit me greatly. Probably. Uh, okay, wait. I'm not even able to, like, reach it. It seems only, like, some of my- my snowballs can reach it. Okay, well, there- there we go. I'm getting a little bit of money here. Here. Get- get as much launching power as we possibly can. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice. Maybe it's enough to get El Sombrero over here? Uh, not quite. I think we need a little bit of auto-fire. That's- that's what would really help us here. Yes. There, just to give my- my fingers a rest, you know? It's what I always like to do in clicker games. We can increase- Increase the base damage, of course. Yes, indeed. Uh, do we have enough research points to get anything else? No, it doesn't seem like we do. Just a quick look. 100 research points? Okay, well, we just got it now. Uh, faster research points. Sure. Well, why the heck not? Let's look at the extra stats. 0.42. Okay. Yeah. That- that works, I guess. Uh, jeez, it's still not enough to get over there. What about firing all the way in the- the corner? Like, right here. No, that's still- that's still not enough. Holy crap. Okay. In that case, we'll go back over here and try to destroy some more ice boulders. There we go. Getting some money. Getting the moolah. There we go. Increase my base damage a little bit. I can actually increase it by a lot here. There we go. So I can- I can destroy these guys a lot quicker so I can get some more money. Very nice. Okay, why is the thing freezing? <laughs> Yeah, by the way, this Learn to Fly game is not available on Steam, I should mention. This is only available on Congregate here, so I, uh, well, this is the only website I can really play it on. Okay, these are all achievements, so I get achievements for, uh, like, like I get research points for obtaining achievements or, or something. Uh, increase the base damage, but we're still, yeah, 
See, I think the problem is that we need more launching power. So this is this is not working right now. This is not gonna work. So we just need to keep on destroying some more ice boulders here. I guess get our base damage up just a little bit. There, like keep it at 25 for now. So that means. Every single shot we land on this boulder, it'll destroy it instantly. Even though it looks- it doesn't look at all like we're destroying it. Uh, or, or even doing damage to it for that matter. Here, get my damage multiplier up. So we can get even more damage here. Oh, my snowballs are starting to take shape though. They are starting to take shape now, I have noticed. It is also the same penguin from the Learn to Fly games. Um, let's see, okay yeah, launching power. Oh my god, okay, we're really firing it far now. There we go. Get out of here, Sombrero. Sombrero Snowman. Doesn't even make any sense. Uh, yeah, I guess increase the max shots as well. Oh, jeez. Okay, things are getting, like, really expensive now. I guess we can also auto-fire, too. Get a better auto-fire, get some more base damage in there. That hurts 150 research points. Okay, I guess it's because I'm getting a lot of base damage now. I'm assuming that's why that's going up. Oh yeah, I'm destroying this guy, like, pretty much instantly now, so we're getting a ton of damage in here. Very nice. Uh, let's go to... Okay, Frozen Dodo. Well, Frozen Dodo is, uh, is dead now. Right, we just, we just made it even more extinct than it already was. Uh, max shots? Yeah, sure. We got five max shots. Oh, gee, is 49,000? Yeah, things are getting really expensive very quickly. As long as we keep destroying this guy, then... Yeah, we just, we just get more... We just get more money. This gives us a lot of money too, so that's that's very good. Ice block, do we even have enough launching power to get our snowballs all the way over there? It does not appear as though we do, so I think we'll just go back to this guy for now and try to try to kill him. Try to kill him. Yeah, so again, just like one of those incremental games. I have no idea how many enemies there actually are in this game here. Also, I kind of wish it would it would tell me where... Oh, actually, no, I think it does tell me how many research points I needed. Yeah, 200 to the next level. I think I am about to level up in one of, in one of those departments, or I can level something up in there. This is good. Uh, okay, here, get some more launching power. Fly 150 research points. Bullet travel. Yes, I need, I need more projectile travel speed. There we go. Look at this, for goodness sakes. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we are getting somewhere. Increase my base damage, too. <laughs> Just flying directly over them. Alright, now we can probably destroy this ice block. Yes, there we go. This thing has a lot of health, but it does give us a lot of money, so that's that's good. That is always good. More money is always good. Mysterious Snow! Seems to have a little, uh, a little hint of yellow in it. Hmm. It's very mysterious indeed. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess increase our auto-fire rate, too. Because why not? Why the heck not? Yeah, so, I'm not sure what exactly we're learning to do here, guys. We're definitely not learning how to fly, because there is there is no flying going on here at all. We're just destroying different objects here in, in the, uh, the, the frozen wasteland known as Antarctica. <laughs> that's, that's, that's all I can really tell, what we're, what we're doing here. Other than that, I don't know what the point of all this is. I honestly don't. Got our base damage up at the very least. How's our auto fire looking like anyway? Yeah, that's that's good, I guess, but meh. still not really good. It's still a little bit too slow for my liking, so I should increase this a little bit. Yeah, there we go. 1.8 seconds. Maybe get this increased a little bit. The only problem is that auto fire does get really expensive after a while. Maybe I should f also focus on launching power too, just so I can like launch these things into oblivion. Very nice. And also, so I can I can cause more damage to these objects too. That would always be good as well. Which I think maybe I'll increase it again right here. Goes all the way up to 144. There we go. So I can at least cause more more damage to this. Oh, it even tells me what it is worth. The mysterious snow is worth almost 15,000. Okay. So we'll just keep on destroying this for a little while. I want to get some more launch power. I don't really care about base damage right now. Max shots, I need 49,000 in order to increase that. 57,000 to increase auto-fire again. Uh, okay, here we go. Launch power. Very nice. Now they're, now they're flying a lot further. So, I'm gonna see if I can finally hit this mysterious snow. Yes, we definitely can. Uh, this thing has a lot of health, though. So, we probably benefit from another base damage upgrade. 
Yeah, and also, and also, I really like to get some auto, some more auto fire because my fingers are already starting to hurt from this. But we're, we're gonna keep on trying here. We're just gonna keep on trying. There we go. Uh, oh my god, 176,000 for the launching power? Good lord. Things become really expensive in this game very quickly. Okay. It is showing me the rate at which I am, uh, getting money, though. Which, which is interesting, to say the least. Uh, get... Do I want more max shots, or do I want more auto-fire? I kind of want a little bit more auto-fire, please. Yeah, there we go. But see, it's still not doing a whole lot of damage. I'm gonna put some research. 2.5% closer objects? Yeah, sure. Let's increase that to 5% now. Alright, so I do believe they are a little bit closer, I I guess. Okay, yeah. I might I might benefit from a from a base damage increase. The next one is 205, actually. Which is very which is very good. Here, I gotta I gotta aim it upwards. What am I doing? There we go. Very nice indeed. Increase that to 205. Yes, the base damage is increasing a lot quicker now though, which is which is very good. Very good, so we can we can get this done a lot quicker. We can get crap done a lot quicker now. Yeah, so we are getting a ton of money here. Increase the base damage to 257. Uh, maybe I can just increase it to 300 here, and then we'll move on to the next uh, the next object that we need to destroy here. And there we go. Base damage of 300. Oh, geez, 371 for the next one. Okay. What's what's the next object we have here? The Fedora Snowman. Do we have enough to reach him? Oh, good lord. Okay, yeah, it does seem like we do. Does seem like we do, but holy crap, he has a lot of health. Yeah, I think he has like 25,000 or something like that. But it does seem like we can still destroy him here. Some of our snowballs do reach all the way to him. Here, you gotta, you gotta like, click it all the way up in the corner right here. Because I did notice that you can't click on, on, on the ceiling here. There does appear to be some sort of ceiling and you can't click on it. Oh wait, I just realized I already destroyed him. Uh... Sure, max shot 6, volley 1, 50 research points. Fine, upgrade cost reduction. Decrease the cost of this so we can we can get we can get this done a lot a lot faster here. All right. Very nice indeed. Also the clouds have have little faces on them. Right. So maybe just one more one more fedora snowman. Get rid of him and his, his silly little fedora here. There we go. Very nice. Base damage. We can actually increase this twice. All right. Yeah, if I just if I just go like this, it still hits him. What's the next one? The ice cream stand. Why 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 do we want to destroy the ice cream stand? We can just go and get some ice cream. Why on earth would you do that? Also, I like how my my little penguin is like so tiny now, because it because everything else is so far away. Like all these objects are so far away. Again, I have no idea how long this game lasts for, but I'm not gonna try and and play through all of this though. I just wanted to play this because I just really felt like playing another clicker game because it had been a while. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really don't feel like this is the best clicker game, honestly. Not, not only that, but this this music, this like music loop is only a few seconds long, and to be honest, when you when you hear it for like mul for like multiple minutes, like like ten or fifteen minutes. Like non-stop, it just it, it starts getting a little bit annoying after a while. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. Like this music is kinda starting to annoy me. I am gonna be completely honest with you guys. I do wish this loop was a little bit longer. Whatever. I'll just get rid of that. Uh okay, yeah. Maybe maybe I could also benefit from launching power. Oh my god, three quarters of a million dollars for the next one, are you kidding me? But it is it is flying a lot faster. Yeah, I guess the steep price increases do do make sense, considering every single time I increase the launch power of this thing, they just start going flying, for goodness sakes. So I guess, I guess it makes sense in a way. I guess, here, go to 800 base power. Look at that. Or base damage, I should say, whatever. Not here to argue semantics, okay. Uh, do I have enough to get the ice cream stand? Oh, no, just... Oh, just barely. Just barely, okay. Fine then, we'll just go and, uh, kill, kill some more snowmen in the meantime. Yeah, I should really go and increase some other stuff. I guess the base damage. Base damage can go up to 950, so we can do this a lot quicker. Uh, okay, I don't have enough money to get, to get base damage again. But just hang on a moment. Now I do. There, 1200. Very nice indeed. 
Then I think I'll save up for more launching power so we can go and destroy this ice cream stand. No one's gonna be eating ice cream on my watch. Not on my watch. Oh my goodness, okay. So, at 200,000 now, okay, we are at Trigger Happy 2, so what can we, what can we upgrade here? I guess faster research points again. Just upgrade everything in order, because I have OCD that way. And I have OCD in that regard. There we go. I can actually increase everything here. Do I want more max shots, or do I just want to keep going for launch power? I think just because I'm I'm very close to it anyway, I'll just keep going for launch power, and then we'll, we'll try and destroy this ice cream stand here. Yeah, so other than that, guys, it seems like a very simple clicker game. As far as I know, this is also like the least played game out of the uh, original Learn to Fly trilogy. I mean, technically, this is the third Learn to Fly game. This one only has about 2 million plays on Congregate, though, so it's, uh... Yeah, no, nowhere near as popular as, as the previous ones, the previous entries. The ones that came before it, at the very least. Oh my god, look at that firepower. Look at that firepower, boys and girls. Alright, let's go and kill this ice cream stand here. There we go, we can reach it now. God, it has like over 100,000 health, too. My lord. My lord. Actually, am I getting more money by destroying this? I wonder. Hang on, let me let me just see something here. No, it actually seems like I'm I'm getting more money at the uh, rate I'm destroying these Fedora snowmen. Okay. Well, that's 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 fine. I'm gonna still try and destroy this thing here. There. Increase increase the base damage. Do more damage to the ice cream stand. And the ice cream stand has been destroyed. What do we have now? Baby snowbank. Oh wait. We have enough launch power to reach it, though. So that's that's good at the very least here. Launch all my snowballs at it. I want to kill the baby snowbank. It's just a little baby. We're like horrible people. How dare you. We do get a, a, a million and a quarter dollars. Yeah, one and a quarter million dollars for, for killing this, this poor defenseless creature, though. So, you know, whatever makes us the most money because we're greedy that way. Yes, indeed. <laughs> My god, this is taking this is taking a little while though. Maybe I'll come back to this. Maybe I can just go and destroy another another ice cream stand here. Just because these take a uh, less amount of time. That way I can get more money as well. Here we go. Come on. Give me some money. Show me the money. Uh I, okay, I guess we can go for max shots here. Yeah, we increase we increase our damage our damage over time. Our damage output. Uh, what is our DPS anyway? Oh god, our DPS is like 12,000 a, a, a second. Yeah, because I'm clicking so so much, that's that's the reason why. Uh, okay. Increase my base damage a little bit. Uh, I will be able to increase it again if I destroy like one more ice cream stand. Do I want more auto fire though? I don't think that's what I want for now. Yeah, we'll get that. Then we'll go back over here. Let's see if we can we can reach all the way and see if that does more damage. Yes, it definitely does. My hand is starting to hurt because of all the clicking I've been doing right now. That kind of also reminds me why cl playing clicker games is kind of hard, because you have to keep constantly clicking. I mean, I can also use the trackpad, too. Yeah, I think, I think using the trackpad is a, a little bit easier on my fingers, honestly. There we go. You're dead. Means to an ends to. Uh, 100 research points, which is actually still not enough to even upgrade anything, but we're getting close to it, though. Uh, increase our base damage by a lot. There we go, very nice indeed. So we can at the very least start destroying these guys, because we do have the necessary firepower. Again, I have no clue what the entire point of doing this even is, because we're not learning how to fly, so I don't understand what, what you're talking about at all. Oh, okay. We're... We're launching chunks of ice at it now. All right. Yeah, sure. This is this is just this is just horrendous. We're killing baby snowbanks. This is this is this is horrible. We are horrible people. A uh, bigger boulder, huh? Yeah, we we cannot reach that. How many of these things have we killed so far? Okay, yeah, a few of them. Oh my god. Yeah, here we go. We can just we can just destroy these guys instantly. Yeah. So this is like. Yeah, it's like. It's like ice boulders. That's 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 what we're firing here. You can get a little bit more money like this. Uh, does the ice blocks do do more stuff? We do have. Okay, we did get another achievement though. All right, cool. As long as we're getting more achievements, I feel like I am accomplishing something. 
Uh, we're still getting a lot of money by doing this, though. I don't know if this is if this is faster or slower. We are killing a lot of ice blocks now, though. Destroying a bunch of them. Uh, yeah, sure. Base damage increase. Uh, we can destroy the mysterious snow a lot quicker now. Wait a second. Did its health just increase there? I could have sworn it said 5,300, but then it jumped to 5,900. Okay, yeah, here we go. We're getting a lot of money by doing this, because we can just kill this thing instantly. Uh, yeah, more more auto-fire, I guess. Oh my god, five, six million dollars for the next auto-fire upgrade, are you serious? Now, yeah, we're still getting some, some money like this. Get our base damage up. Maybe we can get it up to 10,000. I still don't know if we have enough launching power to get to the bigger boulder. I do not believe we do, though. Yeah, here we go. We're about we're about to get to it. We're about to get to 10,000 base damage. There we go. We are at 10,000 base damage now. Uh, it's still not enough to kill the Fedora Snowman in one hit, but we can still kill him rather quickly. So that's, that's still good, at least, because he has 26,000 health. So, I guess we can just keep... Okay, we can increase our max shots. We have another destroyer. Uh, sure, you know what? Just keep increasing our damage multiplier. Oh, what are we firing now? Are we firing bowling balls? That's what it looks like. We're either, we're either firing bowling balls or cannonballs. I can't exactly tell what that is. Uh, but sure. Sure, I'll, I'll go with it. Oh my god, dude. Look at all of the crap we're firing now. We can just keep getting more max shots, because I think we're going to have en enough money to, to get to it again. Okay, never mind. Never mind, what am I saying? 12 million dollars? Are you out of your mind? I don't know, it seems like killing snowmen is a very profitable business in this game. Who would have known? Who would have thought? Not only that, but it doesn't even look like it's dying. And yet we're like killing killing all of its all of its species. We're gonna we're gonna make this 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 breed of snowmen go extinct. We are just horrible people. Okay. Well we're getting we're getting close to being able to kill this guy in just one hit now because of our base damage. So come on. Give me give me up here to Oh wait, I have more launching power. Actually, yeah, forget forget that. I need more launching power. This is what I really need. This is what I very desperately need right now. Launch power of 250. And now we can hopefully increase yes, increase our base damage. Yes, now we can just kill this guy instantly. There we go. Then we can get all the money. Get all the moolah. We need 14 million to get to the next uh launching power. Yeah, there we go. Very nice indeed. Killing so many of them so quickly. We can just keep increasing our base damage. It seems like our base damage is the one thing that we can we can just keep on upgrading the most often. Very nice. This is this is helping me out a lot, definitely. Uh, I guess maybe I can increase my yeah sure increase the auto fire. Twenty eight million now. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, so we can just keep on doing that. We can probably can we kill the bigger boulder now? Okay, yeah, it does seem like our, our boulders are reaching it, actually, so we can we can destroy this thing now. We can definitely destroy this thing, we do have enough launching power, and we're doing so much damage to it because we upgraded our damage so much. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, and it does seem like this is actually a lot faster. Okay, my fingers are really starting to hurt now. Let's just use the trackpad. Use the trackpad, come on. I think it's because I'm clicking so fast, I mean... Again, that's that's the thing I've always I've always complained about regarding clicker games is because yeah, you have to keep on clicking so often, but that really tires out your fingers after a while. Okay, I can increase my max shots again. There we go. We can just keep keep getting even more damage in there. Get even more damage in there. Can I increase my max shots again? No, but I can increase my base damage. Oh my god. Now I need 72 million in order to get more more maximum shots. So I guess this this must really benefit me then. I don't know. Is there any other way to arc this? Yeah, I mean I can I can launch them into the air, but what 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 would what would even be the point for that? I don't know if I can damage myself with it. I highly doubt I can. Uh, we can try getting the seventy thousand base damage here, uh, and also see what the other thing we need to destroy is. Like what's what's the next object we gotta kill here? I guess we'll find out in just a moment. I want to try and. Destroy a few more boulders here so I can get the base damage up to 70,000 and then we'll go check out the next one. Check out the next enemy we gotta kill. Or do I want launch power? Actually, no. I want launch power. 
That's that's what I care about more. Uh, a slush man. Well, we do have enough to reach a slush man, and this will reward us twenty-three and a half million dollars because that's apparently uh, that that that's apparently the worth of a snowman made out of slush, guys. If you if you go and sell this thing at at, at a pawn shop, you'll get like twenty-three and a half million dollars, apparently, or at least in this game's universe. Yeah, this makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Right? Well, we'll just go in and kill this guy here because he is going down pretty quickly because of our damage output right here. I need to I need to check our DPS. Oh my god. Look at look at look at this DPS for goodness sakes, over 200,000. Goodness gracious. I don't know why. Every every single time the game freezes, I see some sort of lion that that appears. I don't know if it's like if it's like showing me the angle of my shots here at all. I, I can't tell. I can't tell what this is. Okay, maybe- actually, maybe it's just the trail that my shots are leaving behind. I think that is what it is. Um... Yeah, sure, bullet travel speed. There we go. Now it's traveling really far. Very nice indeed. I guess we'll increase our base damage to 70,000 now. Can try and kill one more slush man. Oh wait, we can increase our base damage again, actually. Yeah, so maybe kill one more slush man here, and then we'll go to the next, uh, next thing over here. 100,000 base damage. Mr. Snowpile. Well, he, he looks pissed, so, uh, yeah, 102 million dollars, 41 million health. Uh, we can't even reach him right now, so that's not gonna work. Gonna work at all. 1.4 million dollars a second, though. And I do like how it displays it in real time, too. It is a really nice little touch. Uh, I'm probably going to stop playing this in just in just a little bit, guys. I have no clue how I how long I've even been recording for. How long have I been recording for right now? Feels like it's been quite a while. Literally, the only thing I've been doing is is clicking for what feels like a half hour. I have I have to go and check because holy crap, it kind of feels like a, a long time has already passed by. All right, I can yeah already go and increase all of this. Yeah, I think I'll just I'll just maybe actually no. I, I still feel like that is a little bit a little bit too slow for my liking. Yeah, the auto fire is doing is doing really well right now. It does seem like it is it is doing some stuff like getting getting the job done to to an extent, but I still feel like it could be a lot faster. I do feel like it could be a lot faster than that. There are 160,000 base damage. Do I want to increase this like one more time? Uh, okay, well I don't even have enough money to increase it again, so. Just keep it like that, maybe get some launching power. Maybe to just end this video off, we'll try and kill Mr. Snowpile. We'll consider that the final boss of this game, and then we'll we'll just end this video. Not only that, but my throat is getting sore because of how long I've been talking. And if my throat is getting sore, that must mean I've been recording for a extremely long amount of time. Here, 299? Oh jeez, it's actually flying over him now. Uh, okay. We should be good to go, but maybe just kill one more, one more slush man here, or maybe get the ten kills on the slush man, and then we'll go to Mr. Snowpile here. Yeah, we'll we'll do that because this is not gonna take a, a long time. And there we go. Uh, well, actually, should we kill one more? Maybe just to get some some more launching power, just in case this launching power right now is not enough. Yeah, I think we'll we'll go for that. Hang on a second. Just kill this one last slush man right here, and that should be enough money. Wow, are you serious? It's not enough? What the heck? Come on here. Just want to get some launching power. And... Okay, how much does this cost? 304 million? What in the world? Okay, maybe it might be more beneficial to just get some base damage increases. There are 291,000. Is that good, is that good enough for you? Is that good enough for you? Yeah, okay. And... This... I think this will be the last one I kill. Yeah, there. 350,000. Okay, let's see. Is is this gonna be enough? Oh, it is enough to reach him, actually, so I'm, I'm worried about nothing. A bit more, maybe. 500 research points. Here, damage multiplier again. Now what am I firing? Hang on. Uh, okay. I think I'm firing some more, uh, shinier cannonballs. Okay. Well, just to get some more damage in there, at the very least. Alright. You're going down, Mr. Snowpile. Yeah, big pile of crap. I don't even know where I was going with that one. Uh, yeah, he's he's dead, guys. He's dead. There you go. You just got annihilated. What's after that? Liars! Penguins can't fly! Oh, okay. 
180 million. Worth is 450 million. Wow, I kind of I kind of want to get all the way over there now though. Cause I almost feel like that's that's probably the last thing I need to destroy. Or maybe it isn't, I don't know. Maybe there's more there's more stuff after this. Again, I don't know. I don't know how much content this game contains at all. But I would like to, you know, get this recording uh, over and done with very soon. So we'll just we'll just go and see here. Try and increase my my launching power just like one more time, and see what I can do with this. Destroy the lies. Maybe maybe the lies could be the final boss. We'll destroy the lies. We'll show them all that penguins can really fly, even though we're not exactly trying to prove them wrong right now. We're we're basically killing all of the inhabitants of Antarctica here. Yeah, because because we're angry that people keep saying that we can't fly. Here, let's let's see here. Oh, it's just not enough. Okay, hang on a second. Maybe I can Oh, I can hit the top of the letter right here. Yeah, that works. That works though. Okay, yeah. That definitely that definitely works. I wish this thing could stop freezing so frigging much. Holy crap, dude. It just seems like it's getting it's just seems like it's getting a little a little worse. Like it's getting worse over time. Again, that's the thing I always said about playing games on Congregate. Like, there's... <laughs> I don't know why, but it seems like a lot of the games on Congregate, uh, they, they tend to be really unstable. It seems to have the exact same problem that Newgrounds has, where it's trying to load so many advertisements in the background that, for some reason, the webpage just cannot handle it. Oh, and not only that, but I think it's causing, uh... I think it's causing all my cannonball hits to, like, to just get cancelled completely. Because I'm not doing, like, any damage to this at all. Destroy the lies. We need to destroy the lies here. Because we need to let them know that penguins can, in fact, fly. We need to kill all the lies. I mean, we are definitely still doing damage to this. Uh, but it is taking a long freaking time in order to get this done. Here, fire it up a little bit, a little bit higher just to see if I can get this destroyed a little bit quicker. Yes, it definitely seems like that is working out a little bit more. Oh my god, my hands, my hands, my hand is like it, it's not cramping, but I can I can feel it like it like I feel like it's going numb. I'm pretty sure that's that's what's happening right now. So, here we go. Just do it as fast as possible. I think increasing the max shots would have probably benefited me as well so I can just keep on doing this, but the lies have almost been destroyed. They've almost been destroyed. We're gonna show them. We're gonna show them that penguins can in fact fly, even though that's not at all what we're doing right now. I, I don't understand the point of this game. I don't know why I've been playing this for as long as I have. Uh, but the lies are about to get destroyed here. Oh my god, just stop. Please! Stop what you're doing! Holy crap! There we go. The lies have been destroyed. The lies have been demolished. God, that's still not enough to get more launching power, though, because look, I need 1.3 billion dollars in order to get more launching power. I can increase my base damage to 828,000. Oh, the Dodo Hero is the next one. Okay, well, screw your Dodo Hero. I'm, I'm, I'm done with this, with this crap. I'm done. Well, as it turns out, I have been recording for more than a half hour. Yes, just a half hour of me clicking, like, like, left-clicking. That, that's pretty much all I've, I've been doing for this entire episode, and just firing cannonballs at a bunch of boulders made of ice and fedora wearing snowmen and liars about penguins i just quality content courtesy of robotnik 35 anyway that's learn to fly idle i'm not sure why it's even called learn to fly because you're not learning to do anything in this game really you're just you're just destroying a bunch of random objects that's that's literally all you're doing in this game so uh yeah I, I don't get the point of it at all, but uh, I did want to play it because, like I said, I wanted to try and play some more clicker games or idle games. Maybe this is not the best one, but I still wanted to try it out anyway. I hope you guys still enjoyed this video anyway. I do, will understand completely if you didn't, because I know not everyone is into these, like, clicker game things. But I do still want to play more of them, and like I said, I, I did find a few of them on Steam, a few free ones, that I would like to try showing off in a future episode of Random Games. It's not going to be the next Random Games video that I upload, but sometime in the future, 
I'll try showing them off. If you want to play this game, the link is in the description, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in uh, the next few days or so after I upload tomorrow's video, that is, because I gotta finish moving all the stuff out of my old house and into my new one, so, uh, that's gonna be fun. Of course, I will let you guys know when I have finished moving in so I can finally get back to recording videos, and hopefully I won't stop, uh, losing recordings. Hopefully I can find a way to remedy that. We'll see. But, for now, guys, I do need to go now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next few days or so. Later!